future Stella Griffins, this is Miss Han, principal of Stella Middle Chartered Academy, and I'd like to welcome you to the Stella family. We are going to learn a lot this year, and we have a lot of fun things planned for you, and I can't wait to meet each and every one of you. Hi, I'm Daniel Gonzalez. I'm the Dean of Student Services, and welcome to Stella. We're so happy to be inviting new students to be a part of our Stella family. There are so many great things here at our new campus. We have our basketball court. We have our brand new state-of-the-art classrooms. We look forward to having you join the Stella family. My name is Mrs. Cortez and I'm the Assistant Principal of Culture. I wanted to take an opportunity to tell you something really special about our school. Every single Griffin gets a school counselor. This is going to be a familiar face that you get comfortable with and build a relationship with that's going to help guide you throughout your time you are a scholar. We cannot wait to meet you this fall. Welcome. Welcome to Stella New Griffins. My name is Mr. Gonzalez. I'll be working with the fifth graders all the way up until you graduate. I'm also the basketball coach and in charge of web crew. Our school runs a mentorship program where our eighth grade students lead our new fifth and sixth grade students. Make sure you're not a stranger when you see me. Hi everyone, my name is Mr. Estrada. I am the Dean of Operations. This is our brand new grass area and then right around the corner of our gym is also our brand new jungle gym that our students normally use for break times and lunch time to play. So I can't wait for us to come together and officially meet. Hello future Griffins, welcome to SMCA. My name is Mr. Banyawa and I'm your Dean of Student Culture. My name is Mr. Brown. I wanted to show you one of the cool features we have here at Stella. What you're looking at right behind me is our very own student store. We sell things like snacks and a few different school supplies. You don't use money, instead you use one of these. It's a G dollar. You get these for doing cool things around campus from your teachers and staff members. So yeah, we're looking forward to meeting you this summer and hope to see you really soon. Hello future Griffins, my name is Miss Hargins and I would like to welcome you into our teachers and students classrooms. We're able to have our teachers use our smart boards which are interactive and help with student learning. I look forward to you coming to our campus and getting to see these classrooms yourselves. Hello future Griffins, welcome to the best middle school in all the city of Los Angeles. I am Miss Baskerville, I teach fifth grade ELA. I can't wait to meet you all and I hope to see you soon. My name is Ms. Avalon, and I'm so excited to meet you all. We will challenge you to become leaders. We will also help you create values for our society. We will help you enrich our communities and make this world a better place. Can't wait to meet you all, and welcome to Stella. Hello, my name is Alan, and I am a student here at SNCA. My experience here has been amazing. This school is filled with amazing teachers and counselors that really care about their students and their success. Overall, it was great being with Griffin. Hope you like it. Hello, future Griffins. My name is Mariana. I am a fifth grader in SNCA. My first year here in SNCA has been amazing with all the wonderful, nice staff, and not to mention our brand new, wonderful campus. I am sure you're going to like SNCA as much as I like it. My name is Miss Oriana, and I'm the office assistant. If you ever have any questions, please feel free to come to the front office. I am Mrs. Forza, your office clinic. I am very excited to meet you all and I can't wait for you to join our Stella staff. Can't wait to meet you all. Go Griffins! See you at Stella! See you at Stella! See you at Stella! Hello, thank you for joining us for our new student and new family orientation. Our mission here at Bright Star Schools is to provide holistic and inclusive support for all students to achieve academic excellence and grow their unique talents so that they find joy in higher education, career, and life. Whatever challenges um, and changes may come at us this year, this is going to continue to be our guiding mission for us to provide this support and excellence for all our families and students. And so what is fall 2020 going to look like? Uh, school will start on August 24th, whether it is virtually on campus or a combination thereof. Our final plan for uh, school's opening will be shared in early August. Whatever plan is shared, uh, we want you to rest assured that our, our, our number one priority and concern is student safety. And that's gonna be our determining factor of the learning models we have this year. And we're going to be continued to be guided by local and state guidelines, as well as the needs of the families in our school community. I'd like to introduce you to our Stella team. You've already met some of the leadership team in the video. You've met our office, some of our office staff. I'd like to introduce you to our counselors. Our counseling program is a special program that we have here at Stella Middle Charter Academy. What is really special is that we have a, great, a counselor per grade level. And so depending on what grade level your child is entering into, this will be your counselor for this year. And we have a special message from two of our counselors in the following slides. 
Hello everyone, my name is Joseph Gonzalez and I am the new fifth grade counselor. Hello, I'm Mrs. Royval. I'm the sixth grade counselor. Um, it's an honor being able to speak with you today um, and introduce ourselves and the counseling team at Stella Middle Charter Academy. One exciting thing you should definitely know about our counseling team is that there's four of us. Um, if you were to go to most other schools, it's very unlikely that your student is going to have a specific counselor that's going to be able to progress with them until they graduate. So at our school, we have fifth, sixth, seventh, and eighth grade. So that means there's four different counselors. Um, and it's, it's what's great about it is the fact that we get to move on with our students. So for me, that I'm going to be the fifth grade counselor, I'm actually going to be able to graduate with them when they get to eighth grade um, and then start all over. Um, so Mrs. Royball was the fifth grade counselor last year, and now she's the new sixth grade counselor. And next year she'll be seventh and then eighth grade. Because we are a smaller school, we have a lot more opportunities to work with our students one-on-one. -on -one. We have a lot more opportunities to work with small groups of students and with the entire class. At a normal, like bigger school, um, those schools have a lot more students, thousands of students. So it's very hard for counselors to work with every single student. At our school, we, we definitely make it a priority to work with every single student as much as possible and get to know them. We do a lot of workshops at our school to teach them academic skills, to teach our students social emotional skills, to help them deal with their feelings and their emotions. And we also do a lot of college and career um, workshops as well, even though they're in middle school, we want them to start thinking about their future. That's really a great thing about our school is the fact that because we don't have as many students as a, as a bigger district school, we can do all those things and we can spend time creating and um, really planning, planning out the year for our students, but not only for our students, but for parents as well. So it's a really exciting time for you all as well, um, because we're also going to be offering workshops on Zoom as well as in person whenever we get back to that um, for positive parenting skills as well as college knowledge um, that you should start thinking about to help your students start planning for their future. Um, so we're really excited as a counseling team to, to be working with you um, from now until your student graduates. Um, if you ever have any questions about academics, social emotional um, skills, as well as college and career questions, we will be the people that can, that can help you. So again, just get to know your, your student's counselor um, and even if they're, they're unavailable, um, there's three other counselors that are always going to be available to, to answer your questions and your students' questions. Um, we're really looking forward to working with you. Thank you. Since the majority of our new students are going to be from the fifth and sixth grade, we wanted to introduce you to our fifth and sixth grade faculty. So this is the fifth grade team that your fifth grade students will be working with. These are the teachers in their grade level as well as their counselor. And on the next slide, we have our sixth grade team, our sixth grade teachers, uh, including our inclusion specialist teacher, our resource teacher, our elective teachers, and our counselor. For our academic program, we aspire to have all of our students college and career ready, just as we've mentioned in our mission. Because of that, we have a high level of academic rigor. To achieve that academic rigor, we have high expectations for our students as well. And that means no social promotion, which means that students must earn their ability to move on to the next grade level. In order for them to be able to achieve that, we definitely give our students individualized support so that they can meet those high expectations. We maintain these high expectations even during the pandemic. Through distance learning at Stella, the learning never stops. So we had daily Zoom sessions with each teacher, and those teachers also provided video recorded lessons for every subject. We had a digital agenda so students knew right where to go to to get their work. Our online daily postings from our teachers, regular feedback and grading ensured that our students were able to have academic success. We also tried to maintain the fun during distance learning with online clubs and activities, including things like our cooking competition. In order to reach all students, we have support from instructional assistants. They made phone calls to all of our students. They helped with technology support. They gave them one-on-one -on -one help, and we ensured that we had check-ins for every student as we went into distance learning, because that individualized support 
is what's going to bring our students success. At Stella, we are proud and excited about our brand new building that we just moved into this January 2020. With our brand new building, we have brand new furniture, state-of-the-art classrooms, interactive whiteboards and projectors. Uh, we have secured entrances, individual restrooms, and most importantly for our students that they're most excited about is we have free meals for all students, a basketball gym, a turf field, and after-school activities. A fundamental program at Bright Star Schools is what we refer to as LELs, our life experience lessons. We know it's integral for our students to grow as individuals with exposure outside of the classroom. So in a traditional setting, we make sure that throughout the school year, there are ample opportunities for our students to grow and learn outside of the classroom. Here are some examples of prior end of year LELs. Um, in fifth grade, we do a Southern California trip, sixth grade to the Bay Area, seventh grade is out of state to national parks, and eighth grade to Washington, DC. A new program that we embarked on this last year is actually in relation to our social emotional learning. And so this program is called Compass. This is a time where they do exploration for self, really diving into their big heart and figuring out what their purpose is, even as young as a fifth grader. It's an awesome opportunity. They meet a couple times per week and engage in this work to build and foster their own relationship with self and others. Next up, we're gonna talk about behavior expectations. Our behavior expectations are outlined in our PREP values. Um, PREP is just an acronym for being prepared, respectful, engaged, and professional. The PREP system, which we use here at Stella, is a clear and fair way of, measure, of measuring individual and class behaviors based on these four values. What we have here is a sample weekly report. Now this weekly report is something we send home to uh, all families every Friday. This is something we do when we're actually physically on campus. What you need to know here is this report tracks points that students lose and earn through the week for individual acts of citizenship, which are outlined in those four PREP values that we just discussed. Next, we have some survey data just to kind of show you where Stella stacks up against other middle schools uh, nationwide. Here at Stella, we're in the 99th percentile for school fit, the 99th percentile for school climate, and the 90th percentile for school safety. A couple other numbers I want to throw at you, and these numbers really uh, talk about Stella and where we are compared to other schools with similar demographics. Uh, we have 96% of our SMCA families would recommend a Bright Star school to a friend or neighbor. And then 95% of our SMCA families rate our school positively, saying that they're overall satisfied with education their child is receiving. Just so you know where these numbers come from, this is based on a survey we give to all of our families each and every year. So be on the lookout for that survey later this year. Um, but this just kind of shows really the positive ratings we get back um, from those families. And we wanted to share that information with you. Now, in no way are we trying to say that here at Stella, it's some sort of utopia. In fact, we're a middle school with, where we serve middle school students like any other school, and we face many of the same issues. However, where we excel here at Stella is that we do our very best to address those issues as they arise so they don't become potential bigger problems later on. We're really proud to know that families are really satisfied with what we're doing here at Stella. Uh, just a little bit about our uniform policy. We do have a uniform policy uh, when we're in school. That includes grade level colored polos. Details related to uniforms will be provided at a later time. As of now, we just wanna ask that no families make any uniform purchases quite yet. Now I'm gonna talk about the role of a Stella parent because parent engagement is the key to student success. We want all of our parents involved in our students' lives. We wanna make sure that our students have successful experiences at SMCA and a lot of that has to do with how our parents participate in all of the different things that we have going on at SMCA. So we want parents to stay in touch via Parent Square, which is our school app. We want to make sure that parents maintain learning routines for your student at school and at home. And we also want parents to be a part of in-person and online conferences, family nights, workshops, and special events. Let's talk a little bit about Parent Square right now. Parent Square is our primary way of communicating with families. We encourage you all to please download this app. This is an app that you can download from your Android or your Apple App Store. And it's a great way for us to make sure that we share school and class announcements uh, for families to receive individual messages. There are automatic translations in English and Spanish so that you don't have to worry about which language you use to communicate with us. 
and also you can schedule days and times to receive these school messages. Here are some screenshots of what you can expect to see when you use ParentSquare. So you can use ParentSquare to text a teacher to see upcoming events happening at SMCA or to get school alerts in case there are different kinds of activities going on on campus so that you can be aware of all of those things. Please download ParentSquare. Also, parents, we really want to make sure that you are creating the best learning routines possible for students. So at home, make sure that students get online on time. It's for attendance. Also, provide a home space and a quiet time for daily study. Check students' work. Wherever possible, please make sure that their work is complete and finished and ready to turn in. Ensure that students eat and rest properly and monitor their video games, social media, and tech use. As we know, this is a very critical time for students to learn about how to use technology. And as much as the parents can be involved in that process, the students will ultimately benefit from that. At school, we want to make sure that parents help us make sure that students get to school on time. Again, it's related to their attendance. Let's make sure that students arrive with all required materials like finished homework and uniforms, which we've previously mentioned. Also, let's ensure that students stay for after school activities. After school, we tend to have activities on campus, uh, such as our after school all stars program, as well as mandatory tutoring for some students. And also, Let's make sure that we discuss students' cell phone, social media, and behavior responsibilities, which is to say, let's make sure that we're having regular conversations about how our students interact with one another as long as they're on our campus. And also, we really want and we love when our parents become engaged in family engagement events. We host many events for families online and in person. So we have, for example, Family Night. At Family Night, you can learn about strategies to support others dealing with themes such as depression, bullying, social media for teens, social justice, and other topics. We've also done parent conferences. Parent conferences are a way for you to learn about how students are doing at school. And then we also have other special ceremonies such as parent empowerment nights. We have celebration assemblies. We have the evening of excellence and we have our eighth grade graduation. We encourage parents to consistently be involved in all of the activities at SMCA. Another exciting program we have here at SMCA is Web Crew. Web stands for where everybody belongs, and we believe all of our scholars have a niche and belonging on our campus. All of our new incoming fifth graders and brand new to campus sixth graders will actually be a part of a special group with Web Crew. They will have eighth grade mentors that work with them throughout the year in a small group setting to really help them in their transition to middle school. This will begin shortly. So let's go ahead and look at some photos that we have from different events throughout the school year. Again, we have these eighth grade scholars leading small groups of fifth and sixth graders. And so this first event is actually gonna be a welcome and orientation day. So the Friday before school starts, we will be welcoming all of our new incoming fifth graders and new sixth graders virtually. In this time of COVID, we know that we're not able to have large gatherings on campus quite yet. And so this um, orientation day will actually be transferred over to the digital setting. Uh, so you will get details in an email with a Zoom link. Um, but as of now, it is Put the date marked in your calendar, Friday, August 21st, 2020. Uh, it's typically in the morning, so we'll send you specifics via email. I will now touch up on registration. For all of our new families and returning families, it is uh, your responsibility, it will be your responsibility to complete all your registration documents if you have not already done so uh, through our School Mint website. The enrollment team will be creating, if they didn't already do so, creating a login uh, account for you. And you will be completing all the forms online, as well as uploading any immunization records if needed. If for any reason completing this online is a challenge, we have staff that will be available to support. If at any point you have any questions, you can call our front office. Uh, or even our enrollment team and the number and the extensions are provided on the slide. For technology provisions, SMCA has sufficient technology so that each student has a Chromebook to work from if needed. All students will also be given a Gmail account to work from. 
And some of the icons here are just different programs that we use, uh, that students use throughout the year. And all these programs can be found, the links can be found on our school website. And we do have some seats open in the fifth grade. And so please refer a friend. If you know somebody who is looking for an excellent middle school to send their fifth uh, grader to, uh, please refer them. And if you do refer them and they end up enrolling at our school, you will get a special Bright Star shirt as a complimentary gift of gratitude. So please uh, let your friends know um, and let us know if you know of anybody that's interested. Thank you for watching our orientation video. If you have any remaining questions, we do have two question and answer sessions that are gonna be happening live via Zoom. Um, one option is Thursday, July 9th from 5 to 6 p.m. Another option is Friday, July 10th from 9 to 10 a.m. These are optional, but these are opportunities where we will be online live if you have any questions that were not answered in this video. We will be sharing Zoom links for that shortly. Just want to say thank you so much for choosing Stella Middle Charter Academy. You are in for a great experience. We are so excited to be working with you all closely for your child's success. So see you all at Stella.